This video is going to show you how to set up the MP204 in four easy steps. Everything we're going to cover in this tutorial is covered in our MP204 quick guide that's shipped with the product. Once you have installed the MP204 and applied power, you will most likely see a trip on the screen initially. That's because the MP204 hasn't been set up yet. So we're going to go through the steps to setting up the MP204. First thing you want to do is you have four small buttons here labeled R, T, minus, and plus. To start the setup wizard, we're going to hold down the minus and the plus button. Hold this down for about five seconds, and the screen will then begin to flash on your first setting, which is your full load amps. If you don't do anything for a period of time, the screen will revert back to the next setting and continue on, and then finally revert back to its original state. See, now it's back to the original current that we were viewing on the screen. So let's go back into the setup wizard. Hold down for five seconds. The first setting is full load amps. To change the value, we're going to be pressing the minus or the plus. If we press the plus individually, each value increments by one. If we hold the plus down, the increment will start to increase by ones and then tens. To, <clears throat> so we're going to set this value to our full load amps of the pump. To move to the second value, we're going to hit the T button. That then allows us to set up what the station voltage is. Again, pushing the button individually changes the values by one. Holding it down changes the values by tens. We hit the T button, go to the next setting. This is the third of four settings. <clears throat> this is our class trip. Depending on your application, your class trip may vary. To determine what class trip you need to set this to, the quick guide and the INO manual both have the class trip curve. We hit the T button to go to the final setting, which is the number of phases that we have in the panel. We can wire the MP204 up for a single phase, a three phase system, or a three phase with a functional earth. The functional earth, the difference between the three phase and the three phase with the E, is if you're using the mega tester. If you are not using the mega tester functionality in the MP204, you will use the three phase without the earth ground functionality. Once we hit T, it comes back around to the original setting. Once we're done with our settings, we're going to hit the R button. That then has now set up the MP204. The MP204 indicates a small blinking LED on the screen. That blinking LED indicates that it is now in a learning function. And as soon as the pump has run for at a minimum of 120 seconds, it will then store all the base readings for above and below trip points for, for monitoring and protecting the pump.